have a project manager show up once every couple of weeks and walk the job site and be like, okay, these couple areas of the project, I'm good. Oh my gosh, what is happening over here? We're behind. This is a mess. There's a ton of rework that's going to happen. We're missing pieces and parts, right? The EBFC show exists to serve people in the construction industry. We work with a, a mid-sized electrical contractor here in town. Electricians are kind of like your one-man show, I can do it all. Little CEO of his own pile of work that day, right? One day I might be pulling wire, I might be knocking together conduit. Another day I might be doing low voltage control work. And so there was a lot of fragmentation in the way their business would tackle the work every day and digitize it. And now we're gonna have a data set and now we can go through and look at it. And so we're a little bit closer to what's actually happening now that they're taking that thinner slice. And they didn't use any technology originally to get started. But then once everybody got comfortable with thinking this way, once all those electricians realized, okay, like these guys are wanting to make sure that we're tackling the work in the most efficient way possible every day, hour by hour, when we came in and layered our technology on top of that, suck all that information into their accounting system and to be able to do more forward-looking reporting on that stuff, it was a really powerful transformation in the business. It's not the type of thing that's having to be driven top down into the job site. These guys on the job site are hungry for the next digital tool that's going to make doing that thing a little bit easier. And you put it in their hands and it's amazing to see how fast they figure it out and how fast they take to it. And it's because these guys were really smart about ramping into it and not trying to eat the entire elephant in one bite. Yeah, that's a beautiful story. That uh, that whole process of, I mean, that's one of those necessary wastes that we have to do to track. Because unfortunately, yeah. we can't just say, there's my work, pay me. There has to be right. some way to get the data in, verify, and then get get paid. So I, yeah. I love that you're, you're streamlining that and making it simple and supporting. And I love bonus. I love hearing an electrical contractor back in yeah. my old hood. I yeah. consider Wisconsin part of my hood because we used to well, travel and, and, for some you know, the, <laughs> nice. The the other the other thing with these guys, I mean, like you, your electrical tradesmen and women, they're they're really smart. Like electrical is not the the place where you go if you want to shut your brain off for eight nine hours a day, right? And getting each individual empowered to take ownership of being productive, that is a really powerful concept. And and then once you do that. Should anybody be surprised that all those guys and ladies are looking for the next tool that's going to make them more efficient? Yeah, it's no surprise. Yeah, we have lots of examples. I just gave you one of companies that are doing it very successfully. And guess what? Those guys are beating you if you're not doing it. They're making more money and they're winning more business right now as a result of making those types of decisions. Right. There are only so many jobs that you can chase, but if you can do better with the resources you have and use the creativity of your workforce, you can do more jobs. Absolutely. With less effort. Yes. That's agile, baby.